Hello everybody, this is Giant Cloudy Gaming. I just say thank you so much for watching this video and please leave a like and subscribe. I'm Giant and this is the only place you'll see crazy gameplay just like this. And I'm gonna say this. This is gonna be how you will win your first solo win on season eight. I promise you that and I'll make sure it will happen. Because I'm gonna be the person that'll give you the best tips. It won't be high kills uh, it won't be like the high kills or anything, but you will get your first win in season 8, and I promise you, for a matter of fact, that you will get it. Okay, so let's get started. First tip that I would like to say about where you get your first solo win is going to a place that is not popular for it, like the bus path and everything, like, in general. So I'm going to Happy Hamlet, for example, only because that's not a popular place, and it also gives halfway decent food. So that's why I'm landing there, and if you know any other areas that are like not popular and stuff, go there so that you can last longer and get like loot before everyone else does. So that's tip number one. And I also want to say that when you are going to your destination, make sure you look around you because sometimes you can get unexpected surprises. So I was making sure everything's going well and everything, and yeah. <sighs> so what I'm doing here is that I'm just getting a whole bunch of mats and stuff because this game, we're not going to try to get a, like a whole bunch of kills. Our goal is to just stay in the zone and stay on the edge of the zone because it'll just like keep you safe better so that no enemies will be behind you and stuff. And just your, your loadout of what your weapons are going to be, I highly recommend if you're like me, for example, I will do AR, shotgun, SMG, and some healable. And, and make sure if you're going to try this technique that you have uh, materials and you also have well, you can't have this gun, this gun's not going crash. But make sure you also have um, them gliders. The gliders will help a lot, especially when you're doing build battles. Because once you do a build battle or anything, they shoot you down because they're on the bottom side and you're getting on top. Then they shoot you down and you'll be dead. As Yeah, you'll just be dead on the ground if you don't have those gliders. So I highly recommend it. So this is the second zone now, and I was just rotating through Happy, and I ended up being on this hill. And the reason why I decided to be on this hill is because usually high, higher ground than everything else in the world, then you probably should do that because like, just to see around you, and then on here I'm starting to build around the place, doing all that, making sure that I'm able to see everywhere else. But this, this tree just happens to get in my way, so I just started cutting it down and stuff. Like, I highly recommend if like if you're gonna do this at all that you get some high ground because high ground is gonna help you a lot through this because like once you're in combat or something you need to start building immediately not shooting your gun or nothing you need to start building immediately and then trying to get that high ground before they do and especially in season 8 when there's like try hard players splits and yeah so now on my thing it shows the zone moving in and there's only 11 players left and I have zero kills. You know why? Is because I've been staying out of the way of all the fights, and then you just end up in a good position where you're able to like move around and stuff. I cannot say this again, but you you need mats. You need to make sure you have enough wood, stone, and metal. And that's just a mistake I haven't done here because, well, I wasn't really paying attention. So I decided to start doing it. And yeah, there is only nine players left, which will help you get through this. And yeah, as long as you just stay out of people's way until the last final three or two. Like I said before, those gliders help a lot, especially with transportation because Without the gliders, I could have not gone to this area into the next zone. So I just, I, I really like these gliders. So 
So what ends up happening now is that I see, I notice that there's a whole bunch of build battles and everything going on up on the top. So I start looking around at that and then I notice that I'm getting a little bit of a sandwich type situation because the building, the structures in front of me, where like there's the tall buildings and stuff, yeah right there, up north, well, those two are sandwiching me right as we speak and there's probably people still in there so I was just being careful and I was decided to just like go straight through and make sure they don't notice me if there was someone in there. What happens next is that I'm looking for a good area in order to like camp out and stuff until that the next zone comes in and I notice that I'm in the, like I'm properly inside of the zone and in front of me there is a hill that I thought I could take advantage of before anyone else does. But I'm still being careful about the uh, about the hill right next to me because I like the pirate area only because there could be people that have snipers and stuff and they could like really get into your skin. So I was just being careful. But you just start building up, being ready to go, and then, yeah. And I noticed that this guy was on the hill here in a bit. And when he was on the hill, he just constantly kept shooting at the other guy on the ground. See, right there. And what you need to do about the situation is just third party them both. Because this guy's taking a huge advantage by getting high ground, and then he's constantly getting shot down, yes. But, like, he has a huge advantage over them, getting nice headshots and, like, all that stuff. So I just decided to start th th third partying them. Only because like it helps a lot, especially for this type of situation. So I highly recommend you like third party them while they are fighting because if you do that, then you have free chances and free kills. If but you have to still play it safe. So this guy has a sniper and he's constantly using it against the guy on the ground, the one that I keep third partying. So and I noticed I completely forgot about him on the ground. So, and then I start looking around and stuff, making sure he's not doing anything weird. And then I see him start walking around and stuff, so I thought this could be some easy shots. So I just get my AR back out, and then I start constantly shooting at him, making sure that I get enough shots. But it turns out the guy on the hill got the kill because he got the higher ground, and he was just going his path. So I couldn't really do anything about it. I got kind of angry about how the fact that he stole my kill, so I just decided to start going all at it at him. And then I just this like I just made sure that he was not not having a good time and getting some easy shots off of me. So I just decided to make sure I boxed myself a little bit more in, so that I could get like I could look around, making sure that he doesn't rotate towards me and where the zone is at the same time. And there's also four people left, so which helps a lot. And yeah, there's that sniper. And he sniped someone a couple, like a couple of games. No, not a couple of games. Sorry. He, um, it says that he sniped someone for 64 meters earlier, and I thought he was going to be a big of a challenge, but I was actually kind of wrong, because he was literally just sitting there doing nothing except shooting me down, so I was over here like, uh, okay, this is going to go well, and then after he starts peeking a little bit more, I decided, okay, so I'm just trying to, like, you know, defu it, basically, that's what you might call it, so I was, that was not really a big success, but I noticed that the zone, here in a minute the next zone is not going to be on my side so I, I start like building around the place and then he's getting that guy on the hill is giving me a really hard time so I just decided to like start moving around and stuff to make sure that he doesn't like he may know not my location but he was really a struggle and then there's also like two more guys left other than him so I was also I was just like stressing out constantly and I get shot down by some other guy and then he's trying to snipe me at the same time, so I'm over here like, okay, I need to get back to my position. So I just start building once again, all around the place to make sure that I got enough cover. And then next thing you know, this guy, he just constantly wanting to shoot me down. So I started to switch material to brick, because that's like, that's the main one I have. And right out of, out of the blue, this guy starts falling in the second, the, one, the sniper and everything. He starts falling to the ground and then he just immediately kills himself from, I believe, 26 meters? We'll have to see. After he tries to shoot me down, anyways. <laughs> 